Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, simple, not simpler. There's an old famous quote published in the New York Times in 1950 that claimed Albert Einstein once said, and he said this while teaching people new scientific things, that everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. Now, the complicated question today we ask each other is this. Did Albert Einstein really say that? Well, it turns out the answer may not be so simple. Some translators think Einstein said something more complex, something that went a little more like this. The goal of scientific theory is to make basic elements simple, with few options, and without giving up the big picture of the one real question in front of us. Or maybe the truth is just a little more foggy, and he only said something in between the two ends of those quotes. And that, my human meme friend is what many people fail to understand about the art of translation. Things do get lost in translation, meaning ideas get skewered, intention is miscommunicated, and context then becomes irretrievable, all in the joined noble effort of trying to create a clear translation. Translation of all languages and the inevitable adaptation of one singularly understood story into one culture and one language and then out of and then into another culture and another language can be excruciatingly slow and totally irredeemable. The translation results must be checked and double-crossed and made redoubtable by a circle of people searching for the meaning, especially if the intention is lost in the disassembly of communication. So yes, my human being friend, it matters if Albert Einstein actually said, Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. Because there are currently over two million quotations of that phrase attributed to him online in databases. So, like it or not, real or not, there is a resonance in the simplicity of that thought directive provided, we think, maybe by one of the most bright and genuine minds found in any human timeline. And maybe... Just maybe the quote was never quite shared right in the correct translation. And that's a problem because sometimes we just want things to be true. Like fairy tale endings. Like winning the game in the last second. Like being married until the day we die. But reality has a way of forcing the truth into us that we may or may not appreciate, or even like at the time, or in any other time. And so we are forced to reconsider and bend and abate our dreams and our wishes in exchange for what really happened, what really was said. And sometimes we have to dig and not find what we are searching for. But we then leave open the grave of misunderstanding over the headstone of the unquestioned reality. And sure, Einstein's quote is still wonderful right now, today. Whichever translation you choose to believe or not, or verify or not, and or use or not, to prop up an argument or to win an idea, Because in the end, all of this matters. It matters because Einstein's point, the greater idea, is that science is complicated. 
and science can be difficult to understand, especially if you are not a scientist familiar with the complex scientific method. And so drilling down the essence of the truth of what is being studied and discovered is absolutely important. And we achieve that importance by being simple, but not dumbing something down or leaving something out to be simpler. Upon that meme, we can all agree to agree. And what's most important in the simplification of a translation is the recordability of the essential truth, the meaning of the statement. Intention is impossible to divine, and so intention is indivorceable without the originating source for immediate checking and consultation. So sometimes we're out in the world alone trying to figure out the swirl around us of not just what was said, but what exactly we are meant to do with that information shared with us. How do we translate that meme, that beautiful transfer of knowledge from one person to another? Striving for the simple and never the simpler is a fine chariot upon which we must race and become masters of our own role in the human race. We can ask for help from others to find the simple and the complex. We can test our thoughts. And even if we fail to be simple, we can learn from misuse of the unwilling untranslatable. Perhaps the true translation was made in the process simpler but not simple? We can ask for help for the simple. We must, however, be especially cautious when we deal with others outside our field of knowledge. They may not know the difference between simple and simpler when it comes to what they do not know but still wish to share. And so we... We must be kind and patient and dare to explain things in more than one way. But not simpler ways. Simple ways. By reason and example, theory, perhaps even by telling a story or by demonstration. We know Aristotle taught us that we learn by imitation. And we also learn by imitating complex things we don't already know, by simplifying down and reducing upwards. We sense what we need to compress back into our lives, and the experts among us must help the rest of us know the difference in that compression from the simple to the simpler because our sense can mislead us into something not true. And so our trusted experts, our simple translators of the mind, then guide us into the right niche of a new learning. And so, my human being friend, there is grand responsibility in being the arbiter, the teacher, the custodian of a simple idea. Because the threat to that truth is the corruption of the cruel. The cruel among us who want to make simple things complex and simpler things the new norm. We must stand together in both shape and stance, in the complete and dedicated defense of each other, and of the forward standing of the beauty of the simple. Yes, the simple. Shared resolutely and with respect, even with the cruel among us who may find our ideas too difficult to bear, even in the most simple human form. Just remember, patience wins the world. Perseverance earns the mind. 
pinnacles outweigh the pitfalls. Together, today, and from now on, we shall and must always be simple and codify our joyous discoveries back into ourselves and outward back into the heavens from which that wisdom was gifted. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme.